Hello, and thank you for joining us to learn about the city of Manchester and Manchester campus life at Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. My name is Courtney, and I work here in the admission office. And I'm Hannah. I also work here in the admission office. Thanks for joining us today to learn more. Um, I actually grew up near the city of Manchester, and I actually lived here for several years. Hi, everyone. I'm Marjorie, and I am a second year student in the Doctor of Pharmacy program, and I moved to Manchester in the fall of 2021 to start my program. Hi, everyone. I moved up here from uh, Boston, Massachusetts about 10 months ago. I'm a first year in the occupational therapy program. So we're going to start first by talking about the city of Manchester, which is currently located at number 12, according to U.S. News and World Report's list of safest places to live in the United States. So what's there to do here? What sort of housing and amenities are available to you? And what else is nearby? Well, we're going to tell you about that. So I'm going to pull up a map of a part of the city of Manchester where MCPHS is located so that you can orient yourself if you're not super familiar with the area. So Manchester is a small city of about 115,000 residents, um, and we're a really diverse city. So we have lots of culture, food, and fun things to do. Now, when you're looking at this map, you'll see MCPHS right here at that graduation cap. And we're at the north end of downtown, right on the main drag, which is Elm Street. So I think we're going to start talking about food because Manchester is a huge foodie town. Um, and we're right downtown where there's lots of places to eat. So you can see already that there are several restaurants and cafes. But if I type in food options, for example, you'll see a lot more stuff pop up on the screen. And these places in red are really within walking distance on Elm Street of the Manchester campus. One of our favorite places to grab lunch is a couple of blocks away at the Bridge Cafe. Um, we love going there. And if you go there during the lunch rush, you're probably going to see several MCPHS students or employees. Very true. And um, what I really like about the food scene here in Manchester is the diversity of food options in the area. Um, you'll find any anything that you could imagine from Greek food to Mexican to Indian, Thai, Brazilian, seafood, anything you could want is here in the city. Um, we also have a lot of cute little cafes, um, farm to table options and restaurants in a variety of different price ranges, both from high end to casual dining options. So there's definitely something for everyone. So when you're talking about different things to do in the city, um, we've got plenty of stuff to do. Uh, if you're looking for a nice place to exercise or just get out and enjoy nature, there are a lot of parks in the area. One park in particular that we really adore is called Livingston Park, which is up here, about maybe a three or four minute drive from campus. And Livingston is great because it's kind of got some of everything. We've got tennis courts, a track, soccer fields, a public pool, and even some really nice little nature walks that lead out to Doors Pond, which is just coming up on the north end right here. So Doors Pond is really pretty in the summer, but we also use it in the winter for ice skating. Now we have a lot of museums in the city, one of which is called the Courier Art Museum, and that is within walking distance of campus and our students have free entry. We have the Palace Theater, which is a really great place to see local plays, concerts and musicals. And then we have the SNHU arena, which is really more of a space for those large acts. So think Cirque du Soleil, big comedy acts, or even those larger, larger concerts. We have farmer's markets in the area that are available in the summer, spring, and fall months. And we also have a local sports team. For those of you who are interested in baseball, we have the Fisher Cats. Uh, and one thing that's really neat is that student affairs will often give discounted tickets to Fisher Cats games, but also other stuff in the area like these local shows, going to the movies, fall fairs, haunted walks. So it's really fun. Yeah, and um, what's really nice about Manchester as well, too, is that it's centrally located to almost anywhere you would want to go in New Hampshire and around the state as well. Um, if you've got a car, you're only about an hour from the seacoast, which is where you can find a lot of beaches in northern Massachusetts, New Hampshire, as well as southern Maine. Um, and then we're also about an hour to an hour and a half north, um, or an hour to an hour and a half north, you can find um, the 
mountains. So um, white mountains, you can also find the lakes region, uh, which is great for hiking, camping, skiing, snowboarding, anything that you can imagine you can do up north. Um, and then about an hour, um, we're also about an hour from the city of Boston. Um, so if you're looking to spend the day in exploring the city of Boston, it's a quick car or bus ride um, there as well too. So the last thing that I want to point out on this map are a couple of big healthcare facilities that are right within the city limits. Uh, so you see them highlighted in red. Over here on the left, you see Catholic Medical Center. Up here in the top right, you see the Manchester VA Medical Center. And then down in this red spot that's going right off the screen, that's Elliott Hospital. So the bigger kind of healthcare facilities that are right here. But even on this map, we have a lot of smaller local healthcare facilities and tons of stuff in the rest of the city and in surrounding towns. And that just means that our students have tons of rotation availability right in our backyard. Yeah, and switching gears as an admitted student, um, one of your main concerns might be where to find housing in the city of Manchester or surrounding areas. Um, there are many options for you right within city limits. Um, anything from different apartments to condos to houses for rent. Um, there's really a bunch of different options um, for whatever you're looking for. Um, there's also options in the surrounding towns too, if you wanna get a bit of a distance from campus. Um, and this page that we have up here on the screen, this is a great starting point for your search for housing, but there are lots of other options that you can look for housing as well too. And if you need any assistance while you're going through that process, our Student Affairs Office is happy to help. Um, you can reach them at dos.manchester at mcphs.edu. I definitely recommend joining the Facebook group for admitted students. It's a really great way to connect with your future classmates and other students. And it's a really great way to search for roommates. That's what I did when I was coming to MCPHS Manchester. And I met a girl in the OT program. We were both moving here from Vermont. And that's how I ended up with my roommate. And we actually chose to live in one of the places on the list on the screen. And just the Facebook group took the stress out of finding a place to live and finding a roommate. And additionally, a lot of students that come to this campus are from the local area, so they're really helpful in recommending apartments and areas that are best to live in around here. Yeah, that's great advice. And um, living in Manchester, you'll be close by to a lot of amenities. Anything that you can need is within a few minutes uh, drive from you. So anything from grocery stores to pharmacies to banks, doctor's offices, um, laundry services. We also have the mall, which is close by, um, as well as Merrimack outlets um, just right outside the town. So anything that you would need, you'll be able to find here in the city of Manchester, which is really nice. So we definitely encourage you to do more digging on the city of Manchester. It is full of fun stuff to explore and certainly a lot more that we can cover in just a short, short video. Now that we've talked about the city, I'm sure you're wondering what it's like to be a student on campus here. Uh, so we're gonna tell you about that. Uh, our campus is a small campus. We have about 400 students at any given time enrolled in one of our four programs, pharmacy, physician assistant studies, nursing and occupational therapy. And having this small campus atmosphere lends to a very close-knit atmosphere. I definitely love being on a small campus. It allows you to be able to interact with people from other programs and your own professors a lot more, just because the number of students per professor is just that much smaller. So you really get to see your professor as an individual and not just a person that's just standing in front of you and lecturing at you all day. And like I said, you get to meet students from other programs. And one thing we do here at MCPHS is interprofessional education. And these are events where we get to collaborate with the other healthcare professions. My first semester, we did one over Zoom and we also connected with the Worcester campus. And so each person had to to go through in a checklist in terms of this is what a pharmacist can do, this is what an occupational therapist can do, et cetera. And it allowed us to understand, oh, that's what the healthcare provider brings to the team. This is what that one brings to the team. Because healthcare is a collaborative process now. It's not just one person being in their own lane. We all work together. And these interprofessional events really set us up for success. Like when I went on my one of my introductory rotations, I had to interact with a physician's assistant. 
we had to work through a medication problem. So it was a really good basis for me to know, okay, what can they do? They know what I can do. And it's definitely beneficial in being a pro being at a healthcare university is that we're surrounded by other healthcare professionals. So we're getting to interact with them right, right away. And it sets us up really well for our future success. Another part that gets us to interact with other students in the different programs is that we have a lot of different clubs and organizations offered on campus. There's the non-program type clubs, which I'm a part of a couple different ones. Um, there's CAB, there's the Outing Club, and there's Honor Societies, and then the SGA, which is the Student Government Association. Uh, the Outing Club specifically is one to note because we plan lots of trips like apple picking, hiking, skiing. In the summer, sometimes we do other things like rock climbing. Um, then there's the program-specific ones. Uh, I'm an occupational therapy student, so I'm part of the two clubs offered there. There's SOTA, which is more of the national organization, which connects you to all different kinds of people all throughout uh, the country. And then COTAD, which kind of more focuses on equity, diversity, and inclusion on campus. All these uh, different programs and activities uh, are offered throughout kind of the year, and all the clubs have different activities open to everyone on campus. Yeah, very true. And our other program specific organizations hold similar events um, as our OT clubs do. So we have uh, SAPA for PA students. We have a couple of nursing organizations, um, including the uh, National Student Nursing Association. And then there's also several different pharmacy run clubs and organizations as well. Um, these organizations participate in lots of activities, um, as Kate mentioned, some of them. Um, different things like warm clothing drives, food drives, um, collecting school supplies for children, um, inviting guest speakers to campus, participating in walks for different causes, fundraisers, and much more. So there's definitely something for everyone here. And between the Student Affairs Office and all these clubs, there's almost always an event occurring. And some of our favorites and my favorites include the annual semi-formal, the Thanksgiving luncheon, which is delicious. Visits from Ben and Jerry's, where the Ben and Jerry's truck comes, we get free ice cream and bingo, where there's plenty of prizes. And during finals week, SGA and Student Affairs provides breakfast and free coffee to students, so we are never without empty bellies and we are fully caffeinated. One of my fav other favorite things is they bring in therapy dogs, so if you need a puppy, you can go get some pets out, and they also bring in masseuses, so there's always a way to unwind. And another way to unwind is at the local gym where Manchester has a YMCA and MCPHS sponsors a free membership for us students. And it's right down the street. And I especially take advantage of that because it's just easy. And I pack my gym stuff and then after classes, I'm ready to go relax in a way and just take my mind off of school. And overall, MCPHS Manchester offers everything a student needs to succeed. It makes the educational experience just amazing. Yeah, definitely walking in every morning and seeing the security guards. They always have something nice to say to make us feel better in the morning. And it becomes a really good routine before you go into classes and everything. Yeah, we sure do have a close-knit, inclusive community here and are here to support our students along the way. Uh, you definitely won't regret your decision to come to MCPHS. Absolutely. So when you're ready to join our campus, we will be here to welcome you with open arms. So we look forward to seeing you there.